Ladies and gentlemen, your safety is very important to us and Malaysia Airlines. G'day, one world flyer squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Kuala Lumpur Airport. You know that garden in the middle of the concourse. And today I'm flying Malaysia Airlines A330 from KL to Adelaide. I haven't flown MH for such a long time and I'm so excited. Now let's go to the lounge and check things out. Just before I do so, I have to check in with Malaysia Airlines at the transfer desk. I flew in from Istanbul with Turkish Airlines. My bags were checked all the way to Australia, but I haven't gotten my boarding pass to Australia, so I have to check in here. So check-in didn't take too long, maybe about 10 minutes in the queue. By this time, I would have spent at least 30 hours on planes or indoor only. So I really, really appreciated this outdoor garden space at KLIA, even though it's quite tiny. So I did my intro video there and then I thought about my life decision for doing a 40 hour journey from London to Australia. After that I headed to the Malaysia Airlines Golden Lounge in the satellite building. It's a relatively new lounge, it only opened a few years ago. They have a business class section for one watt sapphire and business class customers and a first class section for business suites customer flying to Heathrow and for those who are one watt emerald members flying on any one world airline. So today with my one watt sapphire status I could use the business side of the lounge. I actually really really like this lounge, it's got lots of open space, lots of natural lights and an amazing tarmac view. And in the satellite building you're guaranteed white body only basically. I'm actually not too hungry at the moment but I'm craving for some Malaysian food so let's do it. I just went to the noodle bar for a bowl of laksa and then I went to the buffet to get some nasi lemak. At this point I'm questioning myself why don't I spend a few days in KL. I really want more laksa and nasi lemak for the next few days. And of course some teh tarik. So I guess one of the many advantages for having nasi lemak in the buffet is that you can set your own ratio, like how much rice you want, how much anchovies and meat you want. By the way, on my flight to Adelaide, Malaysia Airlines did offer me to pre-order my meal for breakfast. It's either a nasi lemak or an omelette. Of course, I chose nasi lemak. The food selection here is simply amazing, plenty of choices. Let's try out the laksa broth. It's actually more like a paste, it's really sticky. I'm just mixing my nasi lemak ingredients together and needless to say it was amazing. There are two separate sleeping rooms in the lounge, one for female and one for male. Unfortunately during my visit the male one was completely occupied so I couldn't use it or show you around. But let me show you the shower room. You will have to grab your towels from the reception just outside the toilet. So my first impression, I absolutely hate this door. You can see the outside, although people outside can't see you, still it's quite uncomfortable. Space wise it's okay, there's a toilet, shower obviously, and a sink. Next to your sink on the wall you'll find two power sockets, they're not universal however, so you might need an adapter. For your shower product they use Pantene here, and they have rain shower here which is good. I was really disappointed by the cleanliness here though. The previous guest left their toothbrush here, do you brush your teeth while you take a shower? Let me know in the comment down below. Personally, I don't. I feel so weird doing that naked. For maintenance, they could easily get rid of the black mold. The cleaner could really just get rid of those water and hair. And like, ew, yuck, don't even get me started with this. I used a bidet and some toilet paper to wipe the stain away. So I just took a shower, now I feel very fresh and ready for my flight to Adelaide. Still some time left though, so I'm just gonna chill on the sofa, charge my phone, drink a green tea and just wait. Moments later I went for more tea, this time I got Teh Tarik with cookies. So Teh Tarik is Malaysian milk tea, haven't had those in ages. Before long, it's time to head to our gate for Adelaide, South Australia. Our gate today is C24, the gate is open now. So at KLIA, it's like Singapore Changi Terminal 1, 2 and 3, you do security at your boarding gate. So no containers with liquid over 100 milliliters allowed here. Importantly, for priority guests, including business class customers, there's no priority security here. 
So we're now at the waiting area of the boarding gate. Here's our aircraft today. It's a nine-year-old Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330-300 9 mic mic Tango Kilo. Sapphire, thank you. Hello. 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 Yes, please. Just go straight. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Welcome on board Malaysia A330-300. There are two economy cabins here, laid out in a standard 242 configuration. Our seat today is 33A. Before we take off, let's quickly go through the seat features. So in front of you, a tiny touchscreen TV, USB port here, TV remote should you need it. Your reading light button is on the remote as well. And then your tray table. It's folded in half so you can open it doubling the size and you can move it back and forth. You have a seat pocket here which is rather standard. Leg room here about 31 or 32 inches, pretty good. And then underneath between every two seats you'll find a universal power socket. Every seat comes with a rather firm and adjustable headrest. It's really steady as well, I don't need a neck pillow. So at the aircraft door, the cabin crew gave me this pack of hygiene kit and inside you'll find a face mask and a antiseptic wipe. The cabin crew is now closing the overlocker bins and looks like boarding's completed and I have a spare seat next to me. On your seat, you'll find a soft pillow and a blanket. The crew later gives out headset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your safety is very important to us at Malaysia Airlines. So please listen carefully as we take you through some important safety features specific to this aircraft as it may differ from other types of aircraft. I'm all set to go, I was just waiting for the air traffic clearance. And uh, weather at the moment is uh, light showers. Uh, we're expecting to depart from runway 3 to right out of uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Uh, once we get airborne, we can expect to track all the uh, uh, south uh, easterly track over the streets of Malacca and Java Sea towards uh, uh, Jakarta. Thereafter, crossing the Indian Ocean into the, the Western Australia uh, before making our approach and land here to the Adelaide. Our flight time today is approximately 7 hours, expecting to cruise today at 39,000 feet. On the way, it's forecast a silly uh, cloudy weather while our journey today. And uh, we do advise you to have your seatbelt on whenever you're seated and safety precaution. The rest of the flight information can obtain through the screen in front of you under the title of My Flight Info. And I will be making any more announcements this evening, so hopefully you can have a good rest, enjoy the uh, in-flight uh, services as well. And I'll be back with you later on board before they descend tomorrow morning with the latest food update as well as time travel to Adelaide. In the meantime, please be yourself comfortable, sit back, relax, enjoy your flight, and if you require assistance, please do not hesitate to cabin crews. Thank you. I've flown the Malaysian A350 before to Bangkok, you can check out the trip port link in the description down below. Cabin lights are deemed for takeoff.
government. Australia has fixed biosecurity law. So when the lavatory, and I'll quickly do a lavatory tour. I like how there are lights on the mirror. There's your basin, your hand soap. This lavatory is situated between the two economy cabins and it's really massive. In this lavatory, you'll find two coat hooks. Can we check by the official, official for the arrivals? So they're playing a One World promotional video and here's your arrival card for Australia. Soon after takeoff, the crew came to start the service. First we get a pack of peanuts, and then you have welcome drinks, you have water, apple juice and orange juice. Later there's another tray with just beer. All the Australians waited for the beer. So because we departed quite late from Kuala Lumpur, the first meal is just a refreshment. The meal before landing, breakfast, will be a full breakfast. So this is a chicken pie. It's just a piece of white bread with some satay chicken pieces on it. It was not good. In just 6 minutes time, the crew finished giving out the food and they came back to the aisle to offer us more drinks, including hot beverages like coffee and tea. Coffee, tea, and tea please. So the seatbelt sign just got switched on. I'm the last person to get the hot drink. So here's my tea. Unfortunately, they do only the crema powder, no real fresh milk. By the way, here's a random question for you all. So you know how sugar, it's spelled S-U-G-A-R, instead of suga, we say sugar. What about S-U-S-H-I? Sushi or sushi? So the crew remembered I wanted sparkling water, so he went and got me some soda water. I was so happy that he remembered and went above and beyond to probably get this from business class. So still a long way to go and the cabin lights are now deemed for you to rest and sleep. And before I do that myself, I'm going to show you your entertainment system on board. So no in-flight magazine, but you do have a TV. You do have a good selection of movies to choose from. Some are relatively new, but not a lot. Many people on my flight actually decided to watch a movie instead of sleeping. It's starting to get a bit cold now, and after all, it's winter in Australia, so let's put on a jumper. The cabin is actually so dark, like only one person has their reading light on. Around four hours later, I woke up and the crew already started giving out special meals. I also got my Nasilla Mag, which I pre-ordered. Just note that you actually don't have to pre-order, it's just in case this was going to be a full flight, I would still get my first preference. There's a packet of anchovies, the mini fishy, and along your Nasilla Mac, there's a bowl of fruits, strawberry yogurt, banana bread, and a bottle of water. I would have preferred it if they gave us a bottle of water with the first meal or leave it on our seat before boarding. Tea, Thank you. Let's try out the legendary Nasi Lamak. Obviously very flavourful, very chewy and crispy with the anchovies. And of course it's a bit spicy for me so I need some yoghurt right now to cool it down. Here's the banana bread. It's quite tasty. This might be illegal, but I'm going to try dunk it into my tea. It's actually surprisingly good. As you bite in, the tea bursts out from the bread, with of course banana flavour. About 10 minutes later, the crew came back again for another drink service. I got a tea again, but this time black. It's too hot, I can't drink it. Of 
we're just about 160 nautical miles uh, to the uh, west of Adelaide and uh, subject to traffic currents as well as the weather conditions. We're expecting uh, to touch down in about a half an hour from now at time uh, 6.50 local time in Adelaide. Uh, we've mentioned there's about uh, 1 hour and uh, 30 minutes time difference between Kuala Lumpur and Adelaide time which are now local time in Adelaide is at 6.23 in the morning We do hope you had a good rest and enjoyed the service provided uh, again on behalf of Chanel Lines and the rest of the crew like thank you for choosing flying with us Wishing everyone a very pleasant day, goodbye and that's all I go The landing Please ensure your landing form is completed, thank you in case you've lost your arrival card, the crew once again hand them out. After any international travel, there may be some chances that you have been exposed to communicable disease. If you are feeling unwell, particularly with fever, chill, and or sweat, it is important. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seat, put your seat upright, and fasten your seatbelt. Secure your tray tables and to rest. And please ensure your window shades are drawn up. If an emergency evacuation becomes necessary, leave all your belongings behind and proceed to the nearest exit. As a safety measure, the cabin light will be near to the landing. Thank you. We'll soon be landing into Adelaide Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip report with Malaysia Airlines right here, right now. Our journey today with MH started at the transfer desk at KLIA. It was a quite efficient and stress-free process. I got everything I needed for Australia, and the staff knew exactly what's needed as well. So your declaration form for Australia that you have to do online, and just your vaccination certificate as well. And then moving on to the Golden Lounge, the business class side, it was a very spacious and bright space. I was there for like six hours, so I really appreciated the lockers because I got two bags with me and I only needed one when I was there. The food was amazing, the staff were great as well. The only thing was the cleanliness of the lavatory. It was sadly quite appalling. If I ever see that in my hotel room, I would immediately ask for a room change. There was also no facial tissues in the shower room. And with the towels they provide, they don't give you hand or face towels, so it can be a bit tricky. And then next to the boarding gate, no priority for the security which was a bit annoying. I was in the line for about 15 to 20 minutes and then there was priority boarding once you were in so I was one of the first to board and settled down at my seat 33A. A warm welcome from our cabin crew and we got the COVID safety kit with a face mask and hand sanitizing wipe. Despite the rather outdated cabin, the A330 seats on Malaysia Airlines are still quite comfortable. I had a really good sleep on board today. The first meal on board was a bit appalling as well, like what the hell was that? Chicken pie? which was basically a white bread. For the second meal, I got nasi lemak. That was amazing. I also love how on their mage, they do welcome drinks and peanuts before the first meal. That's something Singapore Airlines hasn't even brought back. And worse, Singapore Airlines only do one meal from Singapore to Australia on overnight flights. So I reckon Malaysia Airlines really did a great job. I also really liked the cabin crew, especially how he embedded some Cantonese or Malaysian twangs and expression like ah, and I thought that was really cute. And when the cabin crew completed their final cabin check before landing, they stood in the aisle and bowed in front of the passengers, like how Vietnamese and Japanese airlines do. And I thought that was a very nice touch. So that's it for the conclusion. For your information, if you were to fly Malaysia Airlines between Adelaide and Asia, you're looking to pay around 700 Australian dollars return. Kuala Lumpur, I just checked, it was 747 dollars. Singapore 690, Bangkok 720. So if you're actually connecting onwards to a not too far destination, it will be cheaper than just terminating in Malaysia. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I upload a new trip report like this one every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong and Malaysia time. That's every Thursday, 1.30 p.m. in Adelaide, South Australia. So please, if you haven't done so, click that subscribe and bell button. So every time I want to upload, you'll get notified right away and you're not missing out. And every Monday, I do a hotel video. If you want to keep in touch with me, you can do so via Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Be Real. I offer YouTube memberships. I also do PayPal and Patreon if you want to help my channel out financially and funding my flight. Now enjoy the landing into Adelaide Airport and see you in the vlog later. Bye!
Alfa selamat datang ke lapangan terbang antara bangsa Adelaide. Sila berada di tempat duduk anda dan pasangkan tali pedang anda sehingga tanda isyarat tersebut dipadamkan. Berhati-hati membuka ruang penyimpanan di atas dan pastikan barangan anda telah diambil. Semua peralatan elektronik mesti dipadamkan sehingga pintu pesawat dibuka. Terima kasih kerana terbang bersama Malaysia Airlines yang juga ahli One World dan kami berharap anda telah menikmati layanan mesra hospitality kami. Terima kasih. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Adelaide International Airport. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is switched off. Take care when opening the weight compartment and remember to take all your belonging with you. All electronic devices must remain switched off until the door are open. It's been a pleasure, it's been our pleasure serving you and thank you for flying Malaysia Airlines, a member of One World Alliance and we hope you have enjoyed our Malaysian hospitality. Thank you. So the captain just switched off the fastened seatbelt sign, everyone stood up like normal, but then suddenly the purser asked everyone to sit down because the Australian biosecurity officers wanted to get on board and do something. Will now be sprayed. This procedure recommend, recommended for this purpose by the World Health Organization is necessary to avoid the introduction of harmful insects into Australia. Please remain seated and keep the aisles clear while the aircraft is being sprayed. Thank you. You may now disembark the aircraft. Thank you very much for your patience and cooperation. We will invite the business class passenger to disembark the aircraft first, followed by the coach class. Thank you very much. So welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm at New York, just landed at JFK with my cousin. A family friend just picked us up on the way to lunch. It's my first time in New York and just looking at the skyline makes me so happy, even though the weather is average. <laughs> New York concrete jungle where dreams are made of We're at Cats, if you know this place, you know this place so we're at a donut place now, which invented a square donut and also creme brulee flavoured donut, which I'm currently consuming. We checked in at Double Tree, New York Times Square West. You can check out my hotel video on this soon. There's a club, I mean like nightclub, not like executive club, on the rooftop of our hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.